on everybody it's I am Brahms and I'm here to um, do us do a really quick tutorial uh, working out of propeller head record 1.5 uh, this also works for reason 6 and uh, probably reason 5 as well I uh, wanted to show a quick technique on how to resample uh, as your stereo track um, as many of you know reason 5 and record 1.5 gave the ability to sample live audio through reasons devices as well as um, resample reasons devices for you to edit them as well um, but uh, one thing that you can also do is actually sample the in stereo file so that you can do different techniques such as the vinyl breaks that you hear a lot in most music nowadays or any kind of um, speeding up the tempo or slowing down um, EQ whatever so I just want to do a quick tutorial on that um, as uh, me know what you can do is you got I got my uh, reason rack here and if you flip it over to the back and you go to the hardware, you've got your output, your um, your sample input or sample output here. And it's it's right now it's currently connected to my audio interface. So basically, if, if I use a device and I hit record and I got my mic plugged in, it's going to sample what I'm what my mic is catching. So um, for this purpose, we want to get rid of that because we don't want to sample through that. We want to actually sample what I'm. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sample the stereo file or basically the all of the sounds through my track. So I'm going to disconnect this right here. And uh, as everybody probably knows, or if you don't know, what you can do is you can actually plug each individual device directly into the sample input so that it will then pick up the device and then you can create another reason device and sample from that. Um, but what I want to do is actually sample the entire thing. And in this uh, particular thing, it's really easy to do. In Record, they've actually added up here, if you go to the mixer, they've added a control room monitor. So you can actually monitor from the control room. So if you were doing um, a recording session, you would you can be able to, to uh, monitor, um, adjust the monitor levels from the control room as well as from the booth. So what, what you can do is if you flip that rack over, you can actually take the monitoring from the control room which right here is control room out okay you're gonna take that and you're gonna drag it over to the sampling input right here and now I have these hooked up and so now they're connected and now what's gonna happen is is when you look at your your audio interface screen here you wanna look at this this meter um, the this this meter right here the, the, the right here the, my, where the mouse is that's going to be your your level there that indicates that you're getting out you're getting um, signal from there so now what I will do then is I will create a new device I'll go ahead and just say let's create an NXT okay and then now once I have that um, I can then do a live sample and what we'll do from there is to extend this out and I'll just play a little bit of the track and let's let you hear how this will sound. <laughs> so now all I have to do is uh, to resample this is, is I just go to the live sample here and then hit play. Okay, and now I've got that, so now I've got a sample of my stereo track. Which apparently didn't work. Hold on, let me try it again. Bear with me. Okay, now we got it. So now I've got the sample here. You see, it's it, it uh, on the screen right here. It is I have all my uh, my key zones, and I got that sample there. You can always rename it, but I've just you know put it out there just to show you. So now if I go to my keyboard, I can play this sample using my keyboard notes. And so now that now you can 
do what you want to do in your mixes. Uh, if you want to do your, your, your vinyl break, which is basically your pitch bend, you can, you know, you know speed it up. You know, or you can do the, uh, the uh, Pharrell uses this a lot. Everybody knows what the... And there you have it. So uh, basically what I did was I was able to basically take a live sample of the stereo mix and then I can take that mix and uh, edit it and do things to it. And in the past, in Reason, you had to actually bounce that the loop down, create another session, and then edit in the other session, take that, and then put it back into your original mix. So uh, Reason um, 5 and 6, as well as Record 1.5, give you an easier task of doing that so uh, just a quick thing here all I did was I went up to our our, our um, audio interface up here in our, our, our audio rack in the back of our rack I disconnected the original which was the my audio interface to the sampling input I disconnected these cables and then I went to my control control room out and outputs and I dragged them over to my sampling data input so that whenever I do a live sample I hit play it'll pick it up from a device and then there I have it so anyway that's just a quick tutorial on how to do that um, feel free to post any comments uh, you can hit me up on Twitter at I am Brahms um, I've also got a sound click reverb nation and all that and um, alright